we now have Photoshop on the iPhone. So I have the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's jump in and have a look at what Photoshop can do on the phone. So we start off on the home screen where we can see some previous files and we can start. So we can start with either from one of our photos and we can grab photos from different places you'll see in a moment. We can create a blank document. We can generate an image using AI or we can start with Adobe Stock. We can also go in here and this is a Creative Cloud Sync. I can grab some of these images that are already synced in the cloud. So why don't we just start? We're gonna create from a blank canvas and we'll create a new one. So we can choose custom size or we've got presets here. I'm gonna use a, let's just do an Instagram post. We'll do a square. Now we have a blank document. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna bring an image in. You'll notice the tools at the bottom and then there's a little plus button. So if we hit the plus button, this enables us to create a new layer. And you can see, well, you can see we can create different types of layers here, right? So why don't we start with an image layer and we're gonna grab a new image. And here we have the option to get images in from different places. So we can add from photos, which would be using the camera roll on the phone, photos I've already taken. We could use the free collection from Adobe Stock. We can generate an image using generative AI. And of course, throughout there, we can use it for generating backgrounds and different things like that. That'll be using Firefly. We can take a photo, so we do that. It'll activate the camera on the phone, add from files, or what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add from Lightroom. So if you have Lightroom on your phone, it'll be nice, but you don't have to, as long as it's synced in the cloud, you are able to access your photo. So here it's launching it, little tip here, if you want to make it quick so you don't have to scroll forever, make a collection, and I've named it number one training, so the photos I want are right here at the top. So let's start by adding this photo I shot in Hawaii. This will work good for our foreground, or this might be Laguna Beach, I can't remember. Um, and then we're going to click Open. All right, we want to scale this, so all we need to do is just tap on it with our finger, and notice that the bounding boxes are there. Now, we can't pinch because if we pinch, what it's gonna do is it's gonna change the size of the canvas. So what we need to do is just grab the corner here and then we can drag the size and then just kind of move it into position. Great, that's a good starting place. I want to apply that, so just tap away. Now, what we wanna do is cut out this top part. So what we're gonna do is select the photo by tapping on it and you'll see the option to create a mask. Now, when we go under here, there's different types of masks. There's tap select, which is probably the best for selecting specific um, objects. But then we can use quick selection brush, we'll get a lasso, object selection, and then of course we've got some marquee selections and magic wand. So what we wanna do is notice at the top here, this is very much like the object selection, it'll show areas that can be selected. Ground is one, water is another one. So let's grab the ground, and notice now it's selected. But what I wanna do is I also wanna include the water in the foreground. So we have the ability to add. Notice we can add, we can minus, or we can add by selecting those two options here. We're gonna add, and then now we can use the quick selection or we could use the lasso. So if I grab the quick selection, I can just tap in here. And I'm just dragging my finger in there and it's selecting all those different areas. If I wanted to use the lasso, I could do that and then just make a selection around there and that's gonna add all the areas that I want. Hit the little check mark to apply it and we can see, okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So what I wanna do now is I wanna bring in an additional layer because this is Photoshop after all and we wanna use layers. So you see this little down arrow, just do that and that will apply it, take us back to the tools and let's hit the plus. Once again, we'll use the image layer. We're not gonna generate anything. We'll just work with Lightroom for this entire tutorial. And then we're just gonna tap in here. And I'm gonna grab this shot here that I shot in Casper, Wyoming, and just hit open. Great. Now we wanna position it, so just tap it. Once you see the bounding boxes, you know that it's now selected. Drag it up. Great, but we want it underneath. So one of the nice things about working in layers, see that little box here? And then you see the left arrow. Tap that left arrow, and that'll take us into the layers. And then you just tap and hold, and we can drag to move a layer underneath. And as you can see, that's what we wanted. Wonderful.
All right, let's add another layer. So we're going to go in here and this will enable me to show you things like some blend modes and transparency. So let's grab another image. And let's grab this that I shot in Washington State. We're going to hit open. Great. Now we need to enlarge it a little bit. Notice as we tap, it'll select the different layers. So I'm going to tap again, and then we see our bounding boxes. Let's make sure this is big enough. I'm going to go a little bit bigger because I know I want to position that. All right. Let's apply it. But now we want to change the blend mode and opacity. So in order to do that, in the bottom here, you'll see blend and opacity. So we can adjust the opacity with that slider and the blend modes are all here. So why don't we do something like, I don't know, linear dodge looks pretty good. And I'm going to play around with the opacity. Notice I'm just lowering that. So we're just getting that kind of cool effect there, but it's not like completely destroying the eclipse. And we're going to apply it. Now we want this to go to the very top. So you'll notice here that we have the ability to, you know, we can tap into the layers or see these options here. If we just tap there, we can go to the top layer. All right, so why don't we apply an adjustment layer? So when you hit the plus, we don't just have the ability to create a new layer. We can create different things here, fill layers, empty layers, etc. So we could create an empty layer. We could paint on it or whatever. So let's create an adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do with the adjustment layer is I'm going to go into curves and let's give it a little bit of a punch. So now we see the overlay. We can drag down and this is in the shadows area. See how we're darkening the kind of shadows. And it's giving us that nice kind of effect coming out of the sun without it being too bright. Now we could go into the lighter areas and we could lighten or darken those. And then when we're happy, we just hit apply. Now, the problem with this is it's not affecting all the layers. It's only affecting the top layer. Notice that. So let's go into the layers. We're just going to tap here into the side to get into the layers. Now, one of the things you'll notice by default, the adjustment layers are clipping, which means it's only affecting the layer directly underneath it. I want to affect all the layers. So we're going to hit the little menu here and then we can choose unclip layer. So now the curves are affecting all the layers in the entire image. And then when we're done, we can export this. So we can choose to export it as a ping, as a quick export, or we can choose to export to various formats. All right, so that's a little bit of a walkthrough of some of the capabilities inside of uh, Photoshop. So you can download this on the App Store. It's available for the iPhone right now. Um, check it out. Let me know in the comments underneath what you think about this. So anyway, um, if you're new, welcome to the cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.